One of the challenges when running robotics missions is to keep the robot going in a straight line. If it gets bumped or runs over something, it'll go off at an angle, and often it just has a little bit of drift as it moves along. Using the gyro sensor is a great way to solve this problem. I'm going to show you how to write the program uh, to be able to make a robot going in a straight line with the gyro sensor. For this program, we have an EV3 robot with the gyro sensor plugged into port one. Um, and so we'll show you how this works. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sensors block and I'm going to grab a gyro sensor and I'm going to drop it down here. I want it to measure the angle of the gyro sensor. The, what this is going to do is it's going to take the reading of what the gyro sensor is set to at that moment in time. It really doesn't matter um, with what direction it's going. We don't need to reset it for this because it's going to take whatever heading it currently has set into it. Of course make sure that your port is correct and matches what you have in your robot. The next thing I need to do is I need to store this. So I'm going to use a variable which has the icon of the suitcase on it. And what I'm going to do with this, this is set to um, write numeric. And I'm going to take a string and draw it from here and drop it onto there. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the reading of the gyro sensor and it's going to store it in this variable. And I'm going to add a variable name. I have to call this something. So I'm going to call it start degrees. You can name it something else. It's always important to name your variable something meaningful. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another variable block and I'm going to change this one to read numeric. So, and it is going to be set to start degrees. So this one will write this number into here and then we're going to read it out and we'll do something with that. And you'll see what happens to that in just a moment. All right, the next thing I need is I need um, a loop. So I'm going to drop a loop in. Now I want to do something over and over and over again. And what I want to do is I am going to use my move steering block. And I'm going to drop it in and I'm just going to turn it to on. Uh, now, as you know, with the drop steering block, if it can be set from negative 100 to positive 100. And depending on where you're at with that, it will determine how much the robot curves in its direction. So what can we do with this variable to make it go straight? So the next thing I want to do is I want to take at the beginning of this loop, I want to take another reading off the gyro sensor. What is a gyro sensor doing currently at that moment in time? every time it goes through the loop. And then I'm going to do some math on it. And what I want to do is I want to subtract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the value of the start degrees and I'm going to subtract the current reading. The answer to that then is going to be the direction of the curve. So if these match, if these two match, it's going to make it zero. In which case, um, if they, it'll keep going on a straight heading. If this is off slightly, it will adjust, automatically adjust that heading. And what's going to happen with this loop is this loop is going to go happen over and over and over time, probably a hundred or more times every second. And it's going to quickly adjust uh, the direction as it goes through there. So let's take this. We're going to save this program. Um, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this moving straight. And I'm going to run this, download it to my EV3. And now I'm going to test the program. As you can see, when you bump it or adjust it, it reverts back to this direction it was going when it started. 